Hey guys, I'm back again. So today we're going to do another speed build, and the other day when I did one, I got a comment and it got me thinking. And the comment was, I want to see you do more complicated builds. And I thought, okay, good comment. It's been a while since I've done something a little more complicated. I was kind of falling back on wall rides there for a minute. And so um, I built uh, this little wall ride kind of shape out of the barges using the edges. And I thought, I don't want to do a wall ride right now. Let's use it as a ramp. So we flipped it upside down and stuck it under this bridge here. And then I've seen other people use these nice beautiful signs as the little sliders in. So I thought, let's use one of those and kind of implement those because they look beautiful. Then I thought, let's do a flipper because I haven't done a flipper in a little while. So you're just going to watch me build uh, something that I thought was a little step up from what I have been doing a little bit. So there's my beginning. I've got the ramp, got the flipper, got the little little side slide with the sign right there. That flipper didn't flip it quite right. And at first I didn't understand why. At first I was thinking maybe it wasn't a sharp enough angle. So I was trying stuff like I was going to use the walls of the bottom of this. Because those are really smooth, those walls. I don't know if you other guys use these or not. I saw some of the videos online of other people using these. I thought, that's fucking genius. Look at how smooth they are. You just flip them upside down and you can kind of bury them into the ground. So let me give you an idea how smooth they are, in fact. Check this out. Zip. So I had to kind of pull myself to the right there at the end, which isn't right. So let's go ahead and put another one of these right here. And let's angle it a little bit to the right. So our car does that and that and that. And now we're lined up. So whatever flipper we put at the end, we're going to get a consistent ride out of it. And I realized I wasn't flipping hard enough because my ramp is tilted a little bit to the right on the fir the, the, in the beginning. So if we roll it to the right, we're going to get a better roll. So I put the red container on the right. And now we're going to put a catcher ramp at the end. So let's see if we line that up nice. I made these templates beforehand. They were meant to be wall rides and stuff. So it was a little bit low. So instead of deleting in stuff, so we're going to move the other one just a little bit over and higher and check that out. So after that, we went to, we're going to um, climb this now because uh, you got this whole spiral thing going on here. And uh, again, I made these parts before I came in here. I, 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 um, I recently learned how to make the corkscrews out of the barges and some of the other curvier stuff. And so uh, let's go ahead and just kind of make the car ascend here. We did this by the prisons. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these. Uh, I've actually been enjoying just being in the creator in general lately. It's been a long time since I've done it. I used to do it a whole lot when it used to be the old creator and you used to be able to like actually physically make props have to glitch together by doing the little twiddle method and uh, when this one came out I played it for, the, for a little while but uh, to be honest I don't know I just got bored and I don't know why but uh, with all the new techniques out there I've been kind of into making them again lately and so this has been fun so when I was doing that little climb up back there I noticed I, I, I didn't have a piece that was set for what I want to do so I'm going to build myself a little corkscrew right here and for anybody who doesn't know how to build them this is basically how you do this you see what I'm doing there I, I uh, on my template you angle that and you start screwing it the way it's angled and you let each cabin build on each other so you get this nice corkscrew shape. I'm gonna put a cabin on top just as a, a prop piece to kind of manage and wrangle it all with after I'm got it set. So now we got this new corkscrew template. Let's go ahead and take this on over there and we're gonna use it. So we're gonna take that uh, that little wall ride we landed on and we're gonna translate it into a little bit more of a harsh angle because. Uh, yeah, we need to do something instead of just climb straight up. You can't just climb straight up all the time. You're going to lose momentum and stuff like that. And we're not here to build a spiral. A spiral's a little boring. We want to do something more like a like a pretzel, you know, something a little different. So I'm really trying to kind of uh, stretch what we're doing here. So this, I need to figure out a better way to do this. I'm not quite sure that the proper way. I'm sure somebody in the comments got a way to do this a little better where I, I actually put the piece on it where it rotates better than I had right set up right there. I was kind of trying to make it so I can just tilt and rotate it easily, but whatever, I'll figure that out some other time. So now that we're at the top, we're going to try to scoop it around fast. I don't want to spend too much time on the roof because I don't want the car to lose momentum up there, you know, so we're going to use this nice little L shape that I made earlier today. Again, using that same template method that's making pretty much everything else with these barges lately. I'm just trying to kind of line it up. It's a hard to line it up with the camera underneath, so I'm just basically lining up using the the props on the back and the way the the lines on the back line up with each other. I'm using that as more of a of a guide. And then now we do that that uh that little uh, U-turn at the top. I want to drop you really fast. I don't want you to spend a lot of time. Uh, scooping around. I want to use gravity to our advantage here. So I try to put this piece on here and I think at first, yeah, at first I kind of made it wrong so it kind of 
crossed over the other race, so just got to re-scoop it and re-angle it a little bit here. I'll get it eventually. So guys, you can probably expect me to stream a little bit later today, today being uh, Wednesday now. Um, it's early in the morning, I'm going to go and crash for a little bit because I've been up all night doing you know, editing and making races and stuff like this, but in the afternoon and the evening time tomorrow, you should expect me to do some, I don't know if I'm going to do some GTA or if I'm going to do some Black Ops or I'm going to do some Borderlands or whatever, I might just do, I don't even know what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something. So expect some streams tomorrow, and um, if you like uh, good streams, make sure to uh, check out myself, uh, you know, you know check out, check out Simply Dave. It's Simply Dave. Uh, you know he's on my buttons there. I've been watching one of Dave's streams the other day. That guy makes good stuff. And uh, you know, so if you guys have a chance, go check out Dave because Dave's been putting on a lot of streams, a lot of a lot of fun stuff that's kind of outside the box. So I'll be honest with you guys. Part of the reason I'm getting into the creator again is the new uh, uh, cutting stunts update is going to be coming out soon. And um, you know, not. Not I don't know how soon, but hopefully in the next like maybe month or so here, uh, and that's going to add a lot of uh, new content creator uh, pieces. And so I really want to be able to bring every kind of trick that's in the book to it when it comes out. I don't want to just have my old like clip together stuff and then turn into templates. I want to use every last thing that's available so that when the new stunts come out, I can figure out ways of implementing the best of all worlds and making something really really super cool for you guys. Like I want to be like so badass. I'm, I'm really I'm I'm enjoying doing these kinds of things. These are pretty cool, but man, I I can't wait for those tubes, and I can't wait for just some of the neat things that are coming out. I kind of hope they took one of Ouch's idea. Ouch had this one idea that um he to he actually sent to the rock star, and they thanked him for it, that they should make um uh, props with colors on them that that you can assign. Like imagine having like a, a box that you can turn blue or red or green, and then you can start creating patterns on your map too. And like that would be awesome if if they took something like that. In fact, if any of you guys out there aren't already subbed to Unspoken Ouch's channel, make sure to go there now and hit subscribe, hit a like, hit <laughs> hit a like in his comment section. No, seriously, yeah, if, um, I can't imagine a lot of you aren't because most of my viewers are the same as his viewers, most of my subs are the same as his subs, but you know, just in case you guys aren't, make sure to head over there, you make some great content. So it looks like we're starting to get towards the end of this uh, little ramp I had built here. And as you can see, um, this is going to be where you come off that downward slope into the jump. It's going to have you land on um, a platform. But I, I realized to myself, when you're coming down, you can be pulling to the left and to the right a bit. And that means you need an increased platform. So that's why I have two of those next to each other. And then I was going to increase the slope a little bit. So you have something to aim for. Because I'm having you go to the top and do a quick turnaround. So... Um, yeah, so um, where the, the 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 tall ramp meets the other uh, lower portion, I realized it might be a little bumpy, so I built a really quick template out of three ramps against each other. I know I did it the lazy way by floating them, but it's just a quick, easy way to do it. As you can see, I did a pretty good job about it. So I'm going to put this right between those two, and that'll make the transition from this one uh, lower area to the upper area and back and forth a lot easier, a lot smoother. Uh, imagine the other way, it might uh, be bumpy enough where it might even make your car kind of bounce, and you don't want that. And then let's take that same ramp and let's put it at the end here because, because. And so that's how you can do checkpoints. If you uh, put the checkpoint at the top, you just kind of jam a barge into there and just kind of like mash the car against it. And so uh, you can put a checkpoint for a turnaround and put a tall slope there, which I know some people will uh, confuse for a, um, what's it called? <laughs> for a ramp. That's fine. It makes for, makes for a funny moment. And we're going to put a couple of these at the top so once people see it, they might for a second go, what the fuck? And the smarter people or quicker people will figure it out fast enough. And ones who, you don't even need to be dumb. I'm not even saying that. I'm saying smarter, smarter. For like uh, normal people to semi-highly intelligent still might slam into it. <laughs> And so this is an easy way to float uh, weapons against uh, props. Somebody was asking me that earlier in my comments. How do you float uh, weapons against props? And so that's a pretty easy way. So um, we're starting to get to the end here, guys. You can hear the music starting to kick in. Make sure while you're here to hit like and subscribe. Make sure to try to share this with your friends. Share this on Twitter. Share this on LinkedIn. Share this at the LA Times in, this, in the want ad section. Uh, share this at the police station. Go let them know that there's awesome builds happening here and they need to know about it. Take your grandmother and take her face and smash her and say, Grab a look at this! So thanks, guys. Eat a dick. I'll see you all real soon.